Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another vlog on my channel. So this one is going to kind of cover like the last month here within March and April. And I had a couple workshops launched this month. We did some really fun YouTube videos and just basically some content creating. So come along with me. Now this nail studio is not going to look like this by the end of this video. I ended up rearranging everything again and we'll talk a little bit more about why and how I wanted it to function a little bit differently for me. But at the beginning of this video, we we are actually filming my workshop that I did. Uh, this was for the floral slash spring workshop that launched not too long ago. Uh, so you're seeing me here just kind of planning out the designs and the looks that I want. I am in my floral section of my stamping card just finding some images that I think would work good for the designs that I kind of had in mind that I wanted to share with you guys. I have so much fun creating these workshops for you guys. So they are all online. They are all pre-recorded and there were pre-recorded in a way that's a little bit more like real time so you guys get to see like the real life of creating these different nail looks uh, so they're less edited and anytime there's like mistakes or things that I want to correct or whatnot I show you guys all of that process so I really enjoy experiencing that with you guys and I am so 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 happy that you guys are enjoying it I've got six different workshops up right now and you can sign into any of them you'll get like a login right away so that you can view them. Whenever I launch new ones, I do them as a pre-sale initially, and so they are at a discounted rate. Uh, so I would recommend signing up to my email list. It is the easiest way to get communication about what is going on in the Talia's Nail Studio community. Uh, what you guys are seeing here is me just like editing the videos, filming some behind the scenes content. Uh, so it the workshops are quite a lot of work, but I enjoy every single step of it. Uh, they are non-brand specific as well, so we use like so many different products for my collection. And here is some more behind the scenes of filming these workshops. So I am just in the process of tidying up a little bit. As you can see, it gets quite messy. Uh, I give myself like a lot of creative freedom here to just grab products as I need them. And I also have this little side table that I set here from my kids' playroom uh, to kind of collect things so that it's a little easier to put everything away. Now I do have some really exciting workshops coming up very soon, but I would love to get some feedback from those of you that either are interested in signing up to a workshop or maybe have taken a workshop and uh, what kind of workshops do you want to see I would love to get some feedback from you guys I have a whole bunch of plans and things that I want to do but ultimately I want to make sure that I'm offering workshops that you guys are interested in so I would love if you could take the time and let me know what you'd want to see we are moving on to a different day here and on this day I wanted to start by creating some press-ons for myself. I wear press-ons every once in a while. Sometimes you guys will see me with gel polish press-ons or like right now as I'm editing this I actually have just been trying to like rehabilitate my cuticles. I've been in such a picking phase <laughs> and I do find this happens when not necessarily that I'm getting overwhelmed with things but just that I have a lot going on so I find it like relaxing. I know not everybody can relate to that but it is true. So something that I do actually that has been really helping is I put a uh, cuticle oil right into my gloves as I'm working because I wear gloves basically for the majority of stuff that I do with uh, my nail art. So if I put cuticle oil in my gloves while I'm working, then it moisturizes my hands, moisturizes my cuticles, and I actually don't mind putting cuticle oil on. So this has been working pretty good for me. Uh, so for my press on nails, I decided on this like really pretty like light peachy color. And I was going to just do like one color and just put a shiny top coat, call it done. And then I decided, you know what? I bet I could get like a really cool finish with some of the fusion top coats. So I was just kind of playing around with them to see which one I wanted to put on the light peachy color. I really like how this turned out and also these tips that I'm using are the Coco and Claire tips. They are the short coffin ones. They just recently like redid their tips and whatever they did to them fit my nails perfectly. So I have, um, well I used to have like pretty long nail, nail beds. On some of them they are a little bit longer uh, but they are pretty curved and I find like the Opry tips work really good as well but I don't know what they did with these Coco and Claire tips and they just fit absolutely perfect. So I do have to file like the cuticles a little bit uh, to make them a little less wide for my nails, but I'm really enjoying working with them. Okay, I need to talk to you guys about this press on nail glue that I tried. It's from IBD. I get it at DK Beauty. It was recommended to me uh, from Morgan who works there. She said it's really good for press ons. It is 
so good for press-ons to the point that I actually found it a little difficult to get off. So this is my second time working with it. What I found the first time is that I ended up putting it on too thick. So I had those press-ons on my nails for close to three weeks, which is absolutely unheard of for me. Um, but it was also difficult to get them off. Like I ended up having to like file them off. Uh, so I decided that this time when I was going to use this glue, I was going to paint it on instead. That way I could get less of like a blob of glue and hopefully they wouldn't last as long. <laughs> I change my nails in some capacity every single week. Uh, so I need something that like works doesn't like come off regularly but also I can get it off when I wanted to uh, and this glue I think with this method with painting it on worked way better for me personally but I love how these came together uh, the next thing that I needed to do is I needed to pack up this press on order that I had for one of my clients here uh, so I did actually film think there is one video up of Lisa's order and then I do have like a behind the scenes of finishing her order too which I will hopefully get up someday uh, for you guys to see so these are what her press on nail sets ended up looking like at least I'm not sure if you watch my YouTube videos but if you do thank you so much for ordering I had so much fun creating these for you Another thing that I did this month is that I reorganized this cart here. I have this planner cart, the white one that you see. It is a Hudson cart from Michaels. It's one of the long ones. And it sits beside my computer desk when I am working so that I have my stationery really close. I find that this is like the best way that I use it when I'm using stationery. I'm actually not really using my planner stickers right now. So instead of having them out where like just taking up space and I'm not using them. I really wanted to use this cart for a cart that sits at my nail desk when I create. You guys know how much I love these cards. I'm constantly using them, rotating them. I have a bunch of them in my house and I wanted something. Did I really not film the after of that cart? Oh my gosh, Talia. Okay, when I hear people say that ADHD is not like a disability and doesn't impact people's lives, it drives me absolutely insane because these are things that happen to me all day long. I will think of things and not actually do them and then have to like go redo them. But anyway, besides the point, here is what the card ended up looking like. So I like the Hudson card better than that gray one that you guys saw initially there because it like fits better at my desk. Like it's easier for me to get stuff. Uh, and I really, really like the sides of them too. So I wanted to take all of my stationery out since I'm not using it. There's no point in having it out and set up this cart here, which has all of the items that I use like daily when I'm sitting at my desk uh, creating. Uh, so now I have three carts that I use regularly in my nail studio, my stamping cart, which is likely never changing. This thing functions so good for me. I've got one of the like little mini uh, carts from Michaels and I really like this. I currently have like all of my DK Beauty products on top of it, but I'm planning to move those closer to my nail desk soon because I do use them all the time and want them a little bit more accessible to me. Uh, so then this will turn into like my put away, put back cart. It also has like new releases and I've got some stuff on the bottom of it for uh, the Back to Beauty show coming up. Now another new video that has gone up recently is creating these really fun butterfly nails for another one of my press on clients. Uh, so I created five of them for that video so I sh could show you guys like the techniques and products and such that I was using. Uh, but I do actually need to create the other hand here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm using the same products that were featured in that video. If you want more details on how to create these nails, the products that I use, anything like that, definitely be sure to check out that video. But they turned out really fun. I really like the color palette that we ended up picking for it. Now not shown in that tutorial was adding crystals to the nails. I had actually messaged her and said that I felt like these uh, like turquoise nails uh, needed something to them. So I'm like, hey, you want some crystals? And that's what I did. <laughs> I uh, picked crystals that kind of match the color palette as well. And I don't know you guys, like would you be interested in a crystal workshop? Because I feel like there's a lot of resources out there for how to apply crystals and crystal like placement and everything. And the way that I do crystals is honestly just so random. So I'm not too sure if this is something that people would be interested in, but I would love your feedback on it because I absolutely love working with crystals. 
One of my favorite things about creating nail art is honestly just playing around with the different products that I have. This is something that we dive into a lot with my workshops too. Uh, but on those butterfly nails, I was thinking, you know what would be really neat is if I marbled those two accent colors that I had used for the background of the butterfly wing. I was curious to see if you would be able to tell a distinct variation between the two colors. So that's what I did for this nail and you guys will see it at the end how it ends up turning out here. Uh, but I am just you know finishing the nails up here filing them if they need a little bit of filing we're gonna do a little bit of stamping here too and just completing this set for Megan here Megan's got uh, some other nails that I'm gonna be creating for her too I always have so many ideas for nail art so the workshops and press-ons just like let my creativity flow and I absolutely love it so this is how the nail turned out it is really cool it's got so many different effects to it uh, so we are coming back a different day here and we have some more content that we are filming for YouTube we're doing like uh, spring nail art another video that is already up to you so be sure to check it out if you need some inspiration for some spring nail art Okay, you guys are probably like, Tleo, what's going on? Why did you rearrange the nail studio for the fourth time in less than a year? Well, you know what? It has been kind of a journey to figure out what functions best for me, not only in this space, but my house. And this room I use for my work, obviously, which is creating content, creating press-ons. Uh, so I need like my filming desk, my editing desk, but I also get ready in this room. It's kind of like my actual room, which is really cool. I love that for me because it is a dream space but I have like my clothes in here I have my makeup all of that and I wanted a space that my family could come and hang out in here too because they oh look I did film that a little bit of that card anyway uh, they hang out in here when I am editing and filming like all the time but I do a ton of work on my cell phone too so I wanted a space that I could just come in here and sit and hang out so I brought my like old nursing chair in here it's a lazy boy it is so comfortable the afghan that is on top of it was made by my grandma when I was a little girl and my husband had just like thrown it casually on here and I was like that needs to be in my nail studio immediately. So I rearranged my nail studio so that I could fit this recliner in here and it is functioning so good. I don't know if I will rearrange again. I love rearranging my spaces. So you might see something happen down the road where we do rearrange it again. But for now, the ease and functionality of this space is working so good for me. I love my desk kind of being in the corner. I find I get less distracted that way when I am actually filming and creating nails. Uh, but the problem with having it in front of the window before is that it totally cured my gels which is something that I thought might happen but it actually did so I I wanted to like move it into the corner plus I felt like my nail desk looks way better with like the wallpaper behind it uh, my gel polish wall I really wanted to be able to kind of like just wheel over and grab colors as I need them but same thing with my editing desk. I ideally wanted it right beside my nail desk so that I could do work on my computer if I need to while I'm filming. And then my makeup vanity, I really like it against this pink wall. I think the pink on pink just kind of works and I am loving this space. Now back to finishing up that nail art video. There's some really good like demos in that video if you guys haven't watched it yet. We're working with some loose glitters here. I also work with some dried flowers and the fusion flower gel that I had shared in a previous YouTube video. Uh, it's like it's got like dried flowers mixed in with it. It's really cool. I do this kind of fun layering technique with it. Uh, so again, go check out that video if you need some more inspiration. Okay, thank you guys. I found this really cool product on Amazon and it is a cat carrier but it is like a fuzzy pouch for your cat and I have been looking for something like literally this exact same purpose that I can just rest on myself when I'm editing and then like my cat will crawl into it and I can like cuddle with her. The best part is it has pockets for like your hands to go in so you can like pet your cat. <laughs> Okay, so I ordered it. Um, she's still taking a little bit to warm up up to it. Uh, so she has used it here. This is like the only time that she has actually used it. But I plan to wear it while I'm editing because that's when she usually tries to sit with me. Um, and I ended up actually cutting like the elastic part of the pouch out because she does not like a tight pouch when she is. Oh, this is so ridiculous. When she is like sitting with me, she prefers to have the freedom to leave if she wants. Uh, but this 
this was her at like 12 o'clock at night when I was editing um, the nail art video. I think that it, I was just finishing filming there. It literally made my night that she was like cuddling in here, but she, she was still like a little unsure of it. So we are working on it. Uh, she ended up like crawling out and not kind of hanging out with me, but that's okay. I'm gonna finish editing. And then as I was editing, it happened again, you guys. I forgot to film something. But actually, now that I'm watching this back, I think that I had just not pressed record. <laughs> So I ended up having to like turn all of my lights on just to film this like literal 30 second clip that you guys saw in a video um, and it was quite frustrating but at least I got it done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was pure randomness and let me know if you want me to continue monthly vlogs like this. I tend to just film content throughout the month unsure of like what I'm going to do with it but I'm kind of liking the idea of putting it all together in a monthly vlog like this. But make sure you're following me on all my social media and sign up to email if you guys want more information about workshops we have like way too much fun of them um and i will see you guys in the next video bye